Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are making a favorite soup, one of my favorite soups. It is so delicious and it is incredibly easy to make. We are making oha soup, you guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. So if you want to see how to make this delicious soup, keep watching, subscribe and turn on notifications so that when I make a video, you're first to get it. For ingredients, I have crayfish. I'll be blending it later with some of the pepper and some of the other ingredients. Next, I have dried catfish pieces and this adds so much deliciousness to this soup. I have some pomo here which is cow skin and it is not cleaned yet. It needs to go through my skin care routine. I have uziza leaves and I will be using them as well as uziza seeds because it gives a unique flavor to this dish. I feel like it will be bland without uziza leaves. I'll also be using some fresh yellow and red pepper. When it comes to soups, I use these peppers a lot. Another pepper I'll be using is this Cameroon pepper because of the fragrance that it has and the kind of heat it brings. We're also using stockfish, you guys. If you don't use it, your oha soup won't be authentic. You guys know that a lot of Nigerian soups, you need stockfish. And this is the part of stockfish that I like. Some people use the head, different parts, but I really like just the middle. I'll be using palm nuts, also known as banga. You can use this or you can use palm oil. These are the alternatives that you can use for this soup. I already have a recipe using palm oil instead of palm nut, so I'll link that in the description box for you. Next, we have some goat meat. You guys know Sissy Amy loves her goat meat. You can use beef, you can use chicken, but I personally like goat meat for this. Next, we'll be using cocoa yam to thicken this soup. Please, when you go to the market, tell them you want the cocoa yam for soup, not the regular cocoa yam because they are different. If you don't have cocoa yam, you can use other kinds of thickeners like, you know, cornstarch and all of that. Next, we have the oha leaves, which gives this soup its definition. Make sure you find fresh looking oha. These are uziza seeds. I know I already have uziza leaves, but I really wanted that flavor to be highlighted in this soup, which is why I'm using the combination. You cannot skip uziza seeds, please. You should not. Now, this is ogiri. I call it ogiri bo. So when I go to the market, that is what I ask for. This thing, as small as it is, the I don't know if to call it aroma, it's very potent. Let me know, like, it actually stinks. <laughs> so if you're using it for the first time, you might actually be put off. But you just need a little of it to give the soup that local authentic taste. Next is prep. I'm putting the meat in a pot and I'm going to season with salt and some beef powder. It's going to add a lot of flavor and I'm going to add some onion as well. I'll add some water and then allow it to cook till it is almost soft. I'm doing that because I will still cook it in the banga sauce or the palm nut sauce so I don't want it to be too soft. Next is the cocoa yam. We're putting it on the cooker, add some water, and then allow it to boil till it becomes soft. When it is soft, it will be easy for you to peel and then you can pound it to form a smooth paste. If you can't pound it, you can put it in your blender. It has a bit of a slimy texture, so this is what is going to bind your soup together. You just need to, you know, peel the skin and it is really easy to peel. Next is the palm nut. So you're putting it in a pot and then you allow it to cook till it softens so that you can pound it and peel the skin and get the juice out of it. The process of doing that is not difficult, but it can be time consuming, which is why some people opt for the option of using palm oil instead of using the palm nut, okay? But I wanted to use palm nut for this because, you know, <laughs> I was craving something different. If you've seen my banga soup video, you'll be familiar with this process of just, you know, using your pistol and your mortar to make your own palm nut juice, which is called banga juice, which is what we use for banga soup. We use it for ofaku. We use it for also oha soup. 
and other soups in Nigeria. When it comes to variety in food, Nigeria has it. Like we have so many recipes that we are yet to scratch the surface. These are just the popular meals. If you're someone that you are always looking for something new to try, a new meal, let's say you're looking for a full timetable because you know, planning your meals every day is something that's difficult. I'm a mom of two and I know how difficult it can be to think every day, what are we going to eat? So if you're looking for meal inspirations, I have my six month menu planner. The link will be in the description box. What it does is that it gives you ideas of food that you can eat. So I do the hard work of planning your food timetable so that you don't have to. I also have a cookbook that you can try and check out it is a bunch of fusion recipes that I love and my family enjoys. So if you're interested, check the link and you'll be able to download your copy. They are digital books. Now that we are done draining and sieving, this is what you should have. Allow it to rest so that sediments can go to the bottom. Next, I'm going to add the yellow pepper, some of the red pepper, and then some onion, and the uziza seeds, and also the crayfish. I'm going to add all of them to my blender, add a bit of water, and I'm just going to blend it to form a paste. Some people prefer to use the pistol and mortar, but you know, technology don't make life easy, so why shall I? <laughs> and I, this is me talking, of me that I was pounding cocoa yam. I should have used my blender, but I didn't want to clean the blender before using it for this you know pepper stuff now i'm prepping the vegetables i'm just going to remove the leaves from the stalks and you're not going to use a knife for this when you're done you're just going to you know tear it apart with your fingers i'm going to show you how i do it later but for now i'm just removing the leaves from the stalk so hasten the process i'm using my scissors for the uziza leaves so these are the uziza leaves that i showed you earlier and we're going to use it in this soup so we can use a knife or your scissors for it just to make it fast and then going over to the oha leaves you just have to use your fingers to tear them apart i don't understand the myth behind it but i am not the one that wants to ruin my soup today by trying to use knife for it <laughs> maybe one day i will do the experiment to see like what happens if you actually use knife to cut your oha leaves will your soup be bitter <laughs> why do you guys think people do it Anyways, it is one of the unique things about this soup because anytime you see your hair soup, the leaves are always like not uniform. Now I'm transferring the meat to another pot because I know I want more for my oha, I want more portions. So I'm just going to use a bigger pot for it because the pot I used for the beef was a bit small. So now that I've done that, I'm also going to add the stock fish. I've already washed it. You can wash it with warm or hot water and then some salt. So I've added it now to the pot and then I'm adding my banga paste to the pot look at that beautiful bright yellow color guys it is so gorgeous i'm going to also add the pomo to the soup at this point it is all going to cook together so i want the banga paste and the flavor and the seasoning to enter inside the stock fish and i want them to enter inside each other i'm also going to add the smoked catfish at this stage all the flavors will marry well they should get used to each other, get to know each other. I'm also adding the blended crayfish, uziza, pepper mixture that we have. And this soup is going to be so delicious, guys. I can already tell because I've already eaten it. <laughs> It was so yummy! At this point, you can taste for salt or seasoning, but I didn't need to add any extra because the one I had for the beef, for the goat meat, was already enough to cover the whole soup. Now that it has reduced a bit, I'm adding some of that Cameroon pepper for flavor and spice. And then I'm adding that Ogirigo. You see, I'm trying to dilute it in the pot. And this is when, you know, the Oha aroma starts to hit the kitchen. Now I'm also adding little bits of the um, pounded cocoa yam. So you just add it in little bits. If you put too much, your soup will be too thick. You're not going to like it. So you just need it to be just a bit thick because once this soup gets cool, it thickens. So you just need medium thickness and then later it will thicken some more. So I've just stirred everything together and then cover and allow to cook some more. 
I also have this thickener at home. I wanted to show you guys. It's a cocoyam thickener. So some people package this and blend it into a powder. So if you don't have access to fresh cocoyam, you can find something like this to use. Now that our soup is almost done, we need to add one more thing again to take it to another level. So we are going to add some more crayfish powder because it brings in all the flavor at this point. So we added before, but we're going to add again. So when you're cooking earlier, just put it half, half, one for earlier and one for later. And now that I've done this, I'm just going to mix my soup. Can you see how thick it is already? Now you know it is almost ready to eat. I'm just going to cover it for a minute and then we'll come back and do the finishing for this soup. So now I'm going to add my Uziza leaves to the pot and next I'll add my Oha leaves to the pot. Look at the bright green color like it makes me happy. This combination of green and yellow mix everything together and turn off the cooker. For someone like me using the kind of pot I'm using, once I turn off the cooker, it still keeps cooking for another like two minutes. So I turn it off at this stage and just mix everything together. If you've never had Oha soup before, I actually need to tell you sorry because this soup is so delicious. I don't know why you are missing out on something good in this life. This is a top tier Nigerian soup. It is an Igbo soup in case I didn't mention that earlier. And looking at all the ingredients like the bomo, the goat meat, the stock fish, the catfish. If you have like big crayfish, you can put it in anything you want. Snails, put everything together so that you can enjoy your life. You can have this with pounded yam you can have it with fufu i had mine with fufu and it was so yummy you can have it with eba it is so so good i hope you try this recipe if you do tag me on social media i would love to see it also leave me a lovely comment if you like this video thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye